Hello, what's up? Ali here for our 4.90 hybrid firmware overview. We'll discuss on this video the importance of this firmware, why do we need it, and how to install it. We will also cover different versions of PS3. How do we check our PS3 so you will know what is best to install on your PS3 and also address some issues regarding uh, the installation of updates. Uh, let's start with what is this firmware. HFW or the hybrid firmware is the window to all exploit on the PS3. So if you want to install either HEN or CFW, you will have to start with hybrid firmware first. Uh, I will leave a link on our description for you to know more about this release. The link will take you to this website so you can go ahead and read this for you to know more about uh, this firmware. And if you want to download this, just click on this area to download the file. First, we have to check if our USB is formatted to FAT32. To do that, just right click on the drive, click on properties, and here on the file system, it should read here FAT32. If your USB has a different format, you can just simply right click Click on a format, then choose FAT32. Then check quick format, then click on start. But this will only work on USB flash drive that has a size of 32 gig and lower. But if your USB has a size of 64 gig and higher, unfortunately you won't see the FAT32 as an option here on the format. So we'll have to use a different application to format our USB to FAT32 if it has a size of 64 gig and higher. In that case, we'll have to use a different application called the Rufus. To download this, I will just also leave a link on our description. Just open the link. Now simply scroll down and click here to download this application. And like our FAT32 formatter, you don't have to install this application. Just download the application and run the program. Here on the device, click here the drive that you want to format. Then here on the boot selection, click here non-bootable. Then here on the partition scheme, make sure you choose MBR. And once you have done everything correctly, just click on start and this will format your storage. Again, before you click on format or start, make sure that you don't have any important files on your USB thumb drive because this will definitely wipe out your storage. So if you have anything important, just make sure you properly back them first before you format. If you have any issues on formatting hard drive to FAT32, I will just leave a link on our description on a video on how to format different storage to FAT32. Now once we have taken care of the format, on the root of our hard drive, we should create a folder PS3. Then inside the folder PS3, create another folder update. Inside the update, we are going to place here our HFW with the file name like this one. So it should be exactly like this, otherwise the PS will not detect the update. Now once we have our storage and the update, we can go back to our PS3 now and update with HFW. On the PS3, first you have to check if the PS3 can detect the hard drive. You will know that it detects the USB if you can see the USB icon here on the video, or the music, or the photos. So once you see the USB icon here, that means that your USB can be used for update or any installation for your PS3. Now if you don't see the USB icon here, that means that you have an issue with either the format or the partition of the hard drive. Please check a video on our description on how to fix this issue. Now once we are good with our storage, we can go to the system update, update via system storage, and here we will see the update installed or saved on our USB. So just select yes, follow the whole procedure and wait for it to complete. Now once we have installed HFW, we can now go ahead and install either HEN or CFW. And to know which one is compatible for your PS3, we have to check the model of our PS3. At the back or at the bottom of our PS3, we will find a sticker that also includes the CECH model of our PS3. So this is at the back of the PS3 and this is the bottom. And here, this is the CECH model. And these are the three different PS3. The PS3 FAT has a model of CACH A to CACH M. And the PS3 Slim has a CSCH model of 2000 to 3000, while the PS3 Super Slim has a CSCH of 4000. 
all fat ps3 are compatible with cfw so if you have a fat ps3 like this one then you can proceed and follow this video to install cfw some ps3 slim are compatible so you have to check the model if it's a cseh that starts with a 25 or lower so either 2500 or 20 it is compatible but if uh, the model starts with the csch 3k and up unfortunately it is not compatible while uh, all of these super slim models are not compatible with the cfw so for all ps3 that are not compatible with the cfw you can always install hen well hen stands for homebrew enabler and it is compatible with all version and model of a ps3 and the main difference of a hen to cfw custom firmware and it is the complete and full jailbreak while the hen stands for homebrew enabler it is like a partial jailbreak while it supports all ps3 or majority of the ps3 games there are some functions and features that is only available for cfw but if you are just into uh, ps3 games and uh, some emulators hen will definitely work out meaning that you can uh, still uh, play most of the ps3 games use external hard drive on your ps3 and play some emulators uh, you will be able uh, to use a web host to install hen i will just leave a link on our description on how to install hen on different models of uh, ps3 using alternate host in addition ps3 fat models uh, that starts with cachg and lower so that's cachf or d or any uh, lower version their flash model is nand and the rest of the ps3 that includes the cachh uh, and all ps3 slim are nor model this is important later when we patch our ps3 again cachg g and lower are nand model the rest are nor model so this will be it for our video and if you have encountered any issues or concerns you may simply share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and again this is ali if you find this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video Bye bye